Game Squad. It's a beautiful day to stay indoors and do a Mario Sports HIIT workout. Grab your sweat towel and meet me on the mat. What is up, Game Squad? Thanks for joining Philly Bloom Fitness. Today we're doing Mario Sports. We're going to be doing golf, we're going to be doing a little bit of tennis, some baseball, some soccer. So, I hope you're ready for today. If you haven't stretched and done your preliminary stuff, we're going to have a quick warm up and we're going to have four sets that we're going to repeat once for each of them. So, if you have a sweat towel, feel free to use it as our tennis racket, as our golf club, but you don't need anything. As long as you're working hard, that's what matters. But, before we get into this, I got to change. <laughs> so, now we're all ready to go. We're going to start our warm up with some butt kicks in three, two, one. Go. Hey. So, we got a good one here today. We're going to do some actual like tennis warm ups and actual stuff for real sports. Really just uh, stretch it out if you really got to. Who would have thought Mario gets you into real sports? <laughs> Play a video game. Right? Get you actually touch grass. Okay? I want you to just do some knee hugs. So work on your balance if you have to. I don't really have a modification for this one. This is gonna really help you stretch out this whole hip area. Get you nice and limber. This one is gonna feature an arm section where we're gonna focus on our arms. So get prepared for that burn. Just pull them on in nice and easy. We got Philly Boom's fit score. Since we got so much going on with the sets, we're just gonna keep it at a flat 20 for every completed action. The Tabata is 10, just because there's more of those. Okay? Just want you to take a wide stance and just shift over and bend your wrist at the same time. Kind of doubling up on some stretches. Just save a little bit of time, you know? Okay. So we just want to warm up our legs. This is a tennis exercise. Instead of doing jacks, just go one, two, one, two, one, two. Just give me a couple of these. And warm up those legs. One, two, up, one, two, up, two, up, two, up. Good job. Now just give me a couple of quick stretches. First one we're gonna do is gonna be speed golf. So feel free to grab whatever you got. Pretend that it's a golf club. Mario Golf, we're gonna go right into it, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Just start running. Three, two, one for 20 seconds. Go. Five, six. Swing again. One, two. <laughs> Get to the ball. <laughs> but this one's only 20 seconds, so we're almost ready. Five, four, three. Give me more. Rest, good job. So we're gonna do that one again. Then we have some, uh, what are they called? Toe taps. Three, two, one, golf it away. Whoa, one, two, three, four, five, six. You don't have to count if you don't wanna. Don't watch that ball. <laughs> three, two, one. Rest. Good job. Then we're going to do some toe taps. If you want to use a target, feel free. When I say target, you're just going to be tapping like this. Join me in two, one. Just circle it around. If you're having issues with your ankles or something, take the hop out. Just give me that tap. Should have all the modifications there. Forgot to tell you. We're learning, bro. Okay. Three, two, one. Rest it out. Good job. I'm a little sick, so my intensity might not be where it's usually at. Come again, two, one. But this is why we modify things. When we're more able to do it, we do it. Come on, five more seconds. Every single video. Two, one. Good job. Back to that golf. I'm gonna do it on the other side just for funsies, but I do golf righty. Doesn't matter. Two, one, swing. Five. Swing. Two, three, four. Good 
I do say that a little bit of exercise whew, help clear out your sinuses. Just don't want to overdo it when you can't. Come on, three, two, one, rest. Good job. Whew. After this one is going to be the arm set, and we're going to have it with 40 seconds and then 20 seconds. Go. With this, two, one, go. Sorry, it's a little late. You don't need proper form, you just gotta keep moving. That's what we're here about. Five seconds. Two, one, rest. All right. I'm gonna set up my target just because it makes it a little bit easier. Two, one, tap it out. Getting the body nice and warm here. Starting off with a little bit of agility and cardio just to get everything going. Remember to try and breathe through your nose on the in, out through the mouth. Two, one, rest. One more of this, then we got some forearm and backhand. Okay? Two, one, tap it out. So we're only gonna have 10 seconds, but I'm gonna show you before you do it, I just want you to take a wide stance when we're done here. Well, five more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. So, I want you to take that wide stance and with one arm at a time, just lean over, do your side lunge, back and forth. Two, one, go. Just on one side. If you can't do just one side, then feel free to go onto the other one and swing. So it's forearm, back, tense, forearm, back, hand, okay? We're doing 40 seconds of this one, so I want you to keep it up, okay? But after this, we go right into, um, in Mario's Tennis Aces, Spike does this little thing where he spins the baton. <sighs> Not the baton, it's a big pole. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, now we got 20 seconds to just catch our breath. So I want you to take half squat and just kind of spin something. Doesn't matter what it is. If you want to just circle arms like that, high arm circles, however you want to do it. Two, one, go. I'm just going to do some high arm circles today, but you can kind of Pretend you're spinning around the pole that he's got and switch directions. Make sure you're in a squatted position to make it a little bit harder. Right now we're focusing on the arms, but there's no reason why we can't have this be total body doing everything at once. Okay, 15 seconds, come on. After this, we got some soccer throws. I know they don't throw it in strikers, but it's a good one for your arms. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, rest. Good job. So, for the soccer throws, just want you to have your arms up and then coming down to a squat. Pretend you're throwing, okay? You can go as fast as you like or as slow as you need to. There's no, there's no way, very right way you gotta do it as long as you are. Two, one, go. Make sure you're not putting your arm down unless you're modifying or going from down to up. If we're not focusing on squats as much here, but try and get nice and low. Try and work the whole body. And when you get all the way up, give your shoulders a little bit of a pinch in the back, okay? It's like one little contraction. Try and get the most out of what you got, all right? Five seconds. Two, one, good job. Ooh, feeling it. So now we're gonna do PD flaps. This one, I'm just gonna be either doing arm circles back forward or going up and down. You're gonna really feel it on this one, trust me. Feel free to just march it out while you're going. Join me in two, one, go. 40 seconds here. Back, forth, 
as long as you're going. You don't, if you want to really pump it up, you do some of that. But I still got to talk and, and breathe at the same time, so I'm going to give it what I can. Give it my 100 today. 15 seconds, come on. Woo, woo, woo. Phoenix such a weird one, but it does even in the sports. Come on, four, three, two, one. Ah. Shake out your arms. Dial off a little bit. Now we got the Wario W's. Wow! So it's down to up. I want you to keep, squeeze it on in when you're here. Flex that back again. Three, two, one. Come down and up. Again, we're just squatting to get the whole body involved. This is not focusing on the squat. Just focusing on our arms, getting them up. Contracting, squeezing. Coming back down, slight release, just to go right back up. <sighs> Learning a little bit today. But don't be afraid to take the squat deep and really focus on that form still. Just because we're not focusing on the squat doesn't mean we compensate by not doing it wrong, okay? 10 seconds, then we repeat this circuit. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Shake it out again. So now we want to go on the other side that we were doing, the opposite side. And we're going to do the forearm and back hand, okay? Six. Two, one, keep these arms out the whole time. You might feel a lot different this time around. Really feeling the burn. That's good. When you feel the burn, that's progress. That means you're pushing yourself past a limit that you had before, and your body's gonna respond by trying to make it better. You're gonna get stronger, you're gonna increase your own limits. 15 seconds, you got that. You got 15 in me, and you got 15 in you. Ooh, you should really feel it if you got like a little weight here. Even like one pound, two pounds, makes a big difference. Two, one, rest. Oh, <laughs> oh glad I brought a sweat towel today. So, we're gonna do the spins, half squat. Keep those arms raised if you wanna just do some presses. Whatever you're ready for. Two, one, up. <laughs> We're doing this to just have some little fun, you know? That's what we feel like fitness is all about. We're exercising, but we're still having some fun. Switch that, switch the direction if you haven't already. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll do a pole workout, who knows? Do uh, some teenage mutant ninja turtles and do Donatello. Ooh, you feeling it? You got less than 10 seconds, come on. You feeling it in your quads stabilizing you? That's good. Two, one. Oh, bring them down. I have an older arm workout. For that one, I think there's like five minutes straight of us pumping. You really want to get a good one for your shoulders. All right, soccer throws. Hope you're ready. You're doing them in five seconds. Three, two, one, down, up. Really use the back of your glutes, your whole glute, and nothing but the glute, to push yourself back up from this position. Don't use your back muscles. You're not bending over, you're sitting down, okay? I know I don't got the deepest squat to give you an example, but I just want to let you know, you want to be pushing through your heels and your whole foot, not through your toes, okay? Five seconds. Two, one, ah, oh, rest. Now we got those PD flaps. <laughs> okay, roll out those wrists. We're gonna be doing some stuff on the floor next. That's true. Okay, two, one. I like when he does the jumps around. 
on it. Really pulse it in. Get some of your legs firing off at the same time. You want to just stand still and focus on those shoulders, the traps. It's the ones right next to your neck. Just tap those heels. Just try not to drop it. We only got 12 seconds left. You can hold it for 12 seconds. May not be able to move it, but you can hold it. We're not done though. Two, one, and rest. Last one in the arms. We got the W's. All right, take your 10. The rest is just as important as the work. That time to recover, it's like a slingshot. Pull back, let's go farther. Two, one, wah! 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 <laughs> Let the whole house know what you're doing. Wah! 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 <laughs> Come on. Or even Wah Luigi. He does the, the hell. No. <laughs> you got 20 seconds. Really squeeze it at the top. Really get, remember to do that contraction backwards when you're doing it. <sighs> That's really where the work is good, you're going to find is. Five seconds and then meet me on the ground. Two, one, rest, good job. So now we're gonna do banana hollow hold. So you're gonna make the shape of a banana with your body. Feel free to start at the bottom. If it helps, you're just gonna make this shape. Join me in two, one. The lower your legs are, the harder you're going to find it might be, try and focus on being on the top part of your glute for this. Don't roll onto your back. Try right between your tailbone and your glute. Don't use your tailbone to stabilize it, kind of. It's going to be pretty tough, but if you can try start doing the right form now, it's going to be worth it when you're not injured. Banana. We're bananas here. Ten seconds. And after that, I want you to flip over. We got tennis returns. Three, two, one. Good job. This is a small little ab circuit. This is kind of tough for me to display, but you'll notice. I just want you to be in your high plank and just tap your toes back and forth like you're returning it on one side of the net. Two, one, go. I don't know how this is gonna look. I think I'm out of frame here, but just to give you a demonstration of how wide you should be going, come on in together. If you wanna pick up the pace, feel free to, to juggle. Can't make the noise right now. <laughs> I also can't move, I'm stuck here. <laughs> keep moving, keep your back straight, 10 seconds. Five, two, one. Oh, good job. Oh, all right. Now pick your favorite side, or your least favorite, and we're gonna be doing a baseball slide. So you can do this on your knee, or you can do this up here. Then I want you to extend and crunch in and slide. Two, one. Crunch in and out. It's gonna be pretty tough. We're gonna to be focusing on both obliques at the same time. I'm gonna come down to my knees for this one. Because I'm talking as well. But really, this one's about the contraction here too. I want you to really squeeze this knee and elbow together. Now just go through the motions, really push into it, okay? We have 10 seconds. You might even be feeling it in your opposite glute to stay, that's stabilizing. That's perfectly normal. Two, one, rest. Back to the banana. Take your breath. Very important. Come on, three seconds. Two, one, lift it up. Try and get up higher. Really squeeze it. Yeah. 
Just focus on not dropping it. Whatever you gotta do to keep it up. Okay? You gotta bring in your knees for a second. Try and come right back out. You gotta bring down your arms and bring it right back up, okay? Don't drop this. If you gotta bring it down, try and keep your arms up, okay? Straight legs if you can, it's tough. You got eight seconds, can you hold it for eight seconds? Three, two, one, go. Good job. So now we got the tennis returns again. Each side of, each side of the net. Alright, get ready. I'm gonna do it on this angle so you can see being straight back. Two, one. Just kicking out. You're not bending back. Just high plank. If you gotta come down, come down to your forearms. It might be a little bit easier for you. I personally think it's a little bit easier in a high plank, but maybe it's not for you. So I want you to go at your level. Keep it your 100. Might even be hard just to hold the plank for 40 seconds for you. That's why we're doing it today. We're working on it. Come on, eight seconds. Get those legs moving. Three, two, one. Good job. So I want you to do the opposite side with me that you were doing the baseball slide before. I'm gonna start on my feet and do it as long as I can. But if I'm dropping to my knees, you don't have to, you don't have to follow me. Okay, two, one, up. However you feel comfortable, if you can make it all the way up to the top and balance here, I obviously can't. But that's another way to increase the difficulty. I know I don't show modifications to make things more difficult, but I feel like if you're able to do more, you might even know more than me on how to do it. So if you have any recommendations on things that you do a lot harder than I do, feel free to drop a comment below. Three, two, one, down. All right, next circuit. Got a little bit of an agility cardio. This is the last circuit. Okay, first one. I want you to get in defensive position. We're going to do Mario hoops. So I want you to shuffle, take a shot. Shuffle, take a shot. Two, one, go. Do quick. I'm about the neighbor upstairs a little bit, hey? <laughs> Other hand. I was never good at basketball. I hated it. I hated it so much. They named a move after me, where all I had to do was just stand on one of the boxes and block. I actually like that though, so I was happy. You feeling it? Four seconds, come on. You don't have to jump all the way. Go to your level. Two, one, rest. Very similar. We're gonna be the goalie now, so I want you to get a little bit lower and block. Low and block. If you can't jump, just do a squat back and forth. Two, one, down. You're like a Superman. I have no idea why, but we used to call the goalie and strikers Apollo. Apollo Creed, I have no idea why. I'm sure you got stories like that when you play with your friends. Just have weird names for things. This is the hardest part for me right now. Don't give up. So you got some weird names for things you called them? You called Toad Joseph or something? Leave a comment below. Two, one, Ooh, rest. All right, you got Aces Knockout. This one's gonna be tough, because it's dips. So we have the modification to do dips, but I want you to try. I want you to get up here, and then do one, drop down, bend your triceps, just lightly graze your glutes, and push back up with your tries. okay? 
You can feel your chest working too. This is completely normal. This is where it's targeting. <sighs> but I want you to bend backwards, not out. You might uh, twist your rotator cuff. <sighs> your shoulder. <sighs> Keep your hands forward. Okay? Ten seconds. Can you give me three more? One. Two. Three. I can give you one more. One. And drop it. You repeat this one more time. Then we got a bonus set. But it's not really a bonus because you're here with me for 30 minutes. Huh? We got the hoops. Three, two, one. Up and out. If you can't jump, I want you to come out full extension. Okay? Push those arms out. Help you balance on your step. If you don't have enough room to step, just feel free to hop, squat, hop, squat, however you gotta do it to keep moving. That's the next one. <laughs> 10 seconds. Four, two, one. Ooh, rest. Goodness. We're so close. We're this close. Seven seconds. Why don't you do those goalie blocks with me? Two, one, squat down, hop over. You don't need to get too low, just enough to jump to the next side. We're really trying to stretch out <laughs> those obliques. I'm not a professional, but I do put some thought into these programs. Because we've worked our obliques, I want to give them some more. The dips is part of the arms. Whew. 10 seconds, come on. Four, three, two, one. Come back down. This is our second to last exercise. I know I usually give you two minutes at the end. I want to do one more exercise at one for one minute. Can we give me those dips? Two, one, go. Keep those hands forward. If you're having trouble with your wrists like this, you might be able to put them out a little bit and still get that contraction. But I want you to try and go forward, increase that flexibility. Okay, take this chance to do it. Don't sit all the way down, just tap that bottom. Okay? 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. This close, one more. We're gonna be doing push-ups, all right? I want you to try and give me five push-ups, but you got the whole minute to do as many as you can. I might be conking out somewhere. Take your high plank position and drop down in two, one. One, if you have to modify, come down to your knees. That'll help, okay? If you're focusing on trying to do a full push-up, just do a negative. Means you come all the way down and then you push yourself back up and then come all the way down again, okay? That's 20 seconds already. As many as you got. Keep your form. Don't drop form. Okay. 20 seconds. I don't know how many I can do. Two, three, four, five seconds, five, you made it, you made it, good job, that's all we're going to do, why don't you stick around with me for a little bit longer, we're going to cool down, 
But if you have to go now, before you do, I just want you to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and tell me how you did. First thing we're gonna do is a tricep stretch. So I want you to just bend it behind you. We did a lot with our tries today. And I want you to push down on that elbow. But if you can't reach, you can feel free to use a towel. So that way you can kind of grab each side. You can pull it down a little bit. Really stretch out the triceps. If you can't reach it, it's completely fine. You just do what you can. Switch your arms. I'm certainly feeling the tries. Lean over. Open up those obliques. They worked hard today too. If you made it this far, I'm very proud of you. It's very difficult to start things. I know. Sometimes it's easier to just finish them. But once you started, that's the goal. Sometimes you just need that one little push. Today was your first time, and this was your push. So, I want you to come with me to a figure four position. We're just doing some light stretching at the end. Stretching is very important to signal to our body that it's time to recover. So, as far as you can reach, I want you to try and touch your toe. Then this kind of like makes a number four. While you're here, if you want to just double down, just do some more wrist stuff. If you're an actual tennis player, I would love for you to act like, send me some of your warm-up tips and stuff. A golf player, a soccer player, switch your feet. I know for a fact that me and my friends wouldn't be playing sports outside if it wasn't for Mario Golf, Mario Tennis. Especially golf, we, we went out golfing one time just because we love playing Mario Golf so much. Took my dad's like $40 set of clubs, just a rock with a stick, a stick attached. We had a blast. Good job. So, last thing I want you to do before you leave, you can continue to stick around for the rest of the warm up. I want you to grab behind your back and I want you to expand your chest and stretch it out. The chest worked hard today too, believe it or not. Just because it's a focus on arms, doesn't mean it's not full body. So again, I want to thank you very much for coming to Philly Boom Fitness. We want to get all the gamers out here moving, starting to pay attention to their health. We want to do the best that we can. We want to live as long as we can so we can game forever. So, if you liked it, please subscribe. Stick around for more videos like this. And I'm Philly Boom Fitness, Philly Boom Basto. I don't know what I'm supposed to go by. See you next time, Game Squad.